Whether it's a ring, a necklace, brooch, or a bracelet, most of us have some old jewelry tucked away that we're not quite sure what to do with. What if your old heirlooms could be given new life? Well, in our first story, Miranda Cohen introduces us to a unique artist in Old Hickory, one who can help you forge old memories into new ones. Smoke, fire, hammers, and sand. It looks like Lindsay Walker is making something industrial. Actually, this Charleston, South Carolina native is making elegant, one-of-a-kind pieces of jewelry. And no one is more surprised than she is. Metal just always kind of had a fascination to me. Um, I was always drawn by it. And um, the first time I soldered, I knew. Uh, just seeing the way that the metal changed as you heated it, um, I was mesmerized. Absolutely fell in love with metalwork at that point and knew I wanted to pursue it, uh, just didn't realize that it would fall into the category of jewelry. Long before she opened her own shop, Walker Jewelry, tucked away in the artist cove of Old Hickory, Tennessee, she traveled the world, taking in the culture and attending prestigious schools abroad. I moved to Denmark and lived there for six years and got into a jewelry design program that lasted three years and then was able to study sustainability and design. Having learned how to manipulate and craft metals and rare gems, she then turned her attentions to her own family memories. I always, you know, would play with my mom's jewelry or look at it and admire it. And, um, and you know, it's, it's, it's another part of um, stories being carried on to the next generation. And Walker discovered the family stories and cherished memories were even more precious than the stones and metals themselves. I had a customer come and bring me lots of her family's gold and beautiful diamonds, but I was able to take all of their gold and make both their wedding bands and engagement ring from the family's um, jewelry. So that's really special hearing things like that of the legacy of people. So this is a Dutch sand that's got a little bit of silicone in it. Walker is trained in an ancient technique called sand casting. It is time consuming and meticulous, but the results are stunning. And this was um, a technique used in the Bronze Age. I do all my own casting, so I'll actually take their gold or silver and melt it down and reform it into something new. Um, carrying on that background story and the importance of the sentimental you know, because jewelry has value in its properties, but it also has value in the memories that it carries. One of Lindsay Walker's favorite things to do is to work with clients individually to make very special pieces. In this case, she's working with a groom to make a very special wedding band. For the metal, she is using shells from his grandfather's 21-gun salute. A little bit tricky since it's very thin brass, but I was able to cut it open and uh, saw out small circles and then kind of inlay that into his ring. So that's special. Walker collaborates with couples to create their own unique heirloom jewelry, capturing the essence of their personalities and style. I work with couples I feel a lot of times that have a different perspective mm -hmm. of getting married or finding the right engagement ring or mm -hmm. wedding set. Walker also teaches classes in how to make your own jewelry from gems and precious metals. Anyone can come in despite, you know, their background sure. and learn all the techniques that I use every day, all the traditional silversmith, goldsmith techniques. And speaking of precious, if you're lucky, you may even spot the most priceless treasure in the shop, Miss Loretta. Her love of the great outdoors is reflected in her depictions of horns, twigs, and nature. And all of the metals and gems are sourced through sustainable practices. All my metals are recycled yeah. and a lot of suppliers offer that because uh, most of the gold uh, in the earth has been mined already, mm -hmm. so it's just out there. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I save all of my metals that I 
work with here. Um, even my, my shavings and my tiny, tiny fine granules, I'll melt that down. Walker will sketch the design, cast the mold, pour, form, and shape the metal. Finally, inlaying and polishing the stones. Always eager to try new designs and techniques. Just continue to, to prosper and learn, you know? I mean, that's the, the thing I enjoy most about this craft is um, I will be able to learn something new for the rest of my life because there's so much to it. But she is most excited about hearing her clients' stories and often helping them forge a piece of their past into a piece of their future. But I just love the freedom of owning my own business mm -hmm. and um, working directly with people mm -hmm. um, and getting to know their stories and bringing their ideas and stories to life as well. Mm -hmm.